in an era where we are told to fear everything and trust no one, this film takes an honest look at a band that we've been told to fear for years. But the truth is, from their inception, suicidal tendencies have always been more than just a band. They have been a unifying underground movement. This documentary explores the band's unique origin, powerful messaging, multicultural fan base, and nearly four decades of longevity and relevance. I think for us, we try to be, rather than a nostalgic band, we try to be a kick in the ass band. Understanding suicidal tendencies and the unique movement they created begins in Venice Beach, California, where the band formed. At a time when skateboard culture, the hardcore punk scene, and the LA area street gangs all shared the same neighborhoods, resulting in tension, youth aggression, and badass rock and roll all combined. I mean, I'm not telling people to see things the way I do, and I'm not saying, a lot of people say, you got a bad attitude. I don't got a bad attitude, I got the best attitude there is, because I won't quit. Through Mike Muir's unique storytelling style, they were introducing the world to their lifestyle and their culture. And the world started taking notice, some for the good, like LA radio host Rodney Bingenheimer, who took an early notice of the band and their breakthrough hit, Institutionalized. And MTV put the institutionalized video into heavy rotation that catapulted the band to break through into headlining status. But some of the attention was for the bad. But concerns voiced by law enforcement agencies about the band attracting an unsavory audience, particularly street gangs, have until recently prevented the band from scoring a major tour. They didn't sound like everyone else in the punk scene, and they didn't look like everyone else in the punk scene. Most punk bands had shaved heads or mohawks and wore leather jackets. Suicidal, they were themselves. They were skaters, they were cholos, they were punk rockers, they were surfers, they were metalheads, they were black, they were white, they were brown, they were kids. This is Mike, and this is Mike. I think with Suicidal, there's a lot of people that I think that a lot of positive things have come through and, and with our music, and it's given them a lot of power to uh, go off and have better lives. And I look at that and I say, that's a, that's a good thing, and that's a good thing to be a part of. After nearly four decades, suicidal tendencies have not only survived, they have continued to thrive. And this film takes a serious look into how it was done. Rising up from the underground, the legendary folklore, the legendary artists that have been part of the movement, now going into their 40th year, the suicidal family legacy continues with Young Lions, Ty Trujillo on bass, and the exciting to watch Brandon Pertzborn on drums. This is a film about the band that can often be misunderstood, but cannot be denied. From Venice Beach, California, Suicidal Tendencies.